hello guys and welcome to pattern tutorial with ruby in this video i'm going to show you guys how to cut a circle skirt all right there are different ways of cutting a flay skirt but this one is a full circle skirt and i'm going to show you guys how to do that step by step Tab. if this sounds like what you want to know how to do please don't go anywhere keep watching and if you've not subscribed to this channel please go ahead and subscribe and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you find it helpful without further ado i'm going to take you guys straight to the coating table shortly after the break all right guys for this tutorial we're going to be needing our pattern paper Tip measure, pair of scissors. Then I have two pen markers right here. I will also need a straight ruler and also a curved ruler. So guys, this is the paper we're going to be using for this tutorial. I had to join it at some junctions because I actually need a wider paper and my paper is not that wide. So please ignore this, all right? So to create my pattern, I'm going to fold this paper into two equal parts. I'm also going to fold this into two parts again. So what we need is to find the radius of the skirt and to find the radius, I'm going to take my waist measurement first before we go into other calculations. So I have my mannequin right here. I'm going to locate the tiniest parts of this mannequin. And once I've done that, I'll put my tape around and take my waist measurements. Make sure you have two fingers inside and then you're good to go. We're going to be doing a little mathematics here, but do not worry because this is going to be very easy. What we need is radius equal to C over 2 pi, where pi is 3.14 approximately. So what this means is that wherever you see pi, you're going to replace it with 3.14. That C there stands for the waist measurement. So what we have is radius equal to 26 over 2 pi. To multiply this 2 by 3.14. And it's going to give us 6.8. So I'm going to be adding a zipper allowance at the back of this skirt. So I'm going to add 1 inch to 26. So 26 plus 1 inch allowance is going to give us 27. And you're going to divide 27 by 6.28. So what we're going to have is 4.3. So our radius is 4.3. Easy, right? So from this tip right here, I'm going to measure 4.3. I'll keep this at this point and keep rotating while I mark my 4.3. I'll do this until I rotate to the other end of this pattern paper. So I'm quickly going to connect my points with my curve ruler, all right? But you can always do a freehand sketch. All right, guys, this is what we have. This is the waist. So the next thing we're going to determine, guys, is the length of our skirt. How long do you want your skirt to be? So to get the length of our skirt, I already have this tied around the waist, all right? I'm going to measure from this point to the length where I want the skirt to be. All right, guys, so I'm going to measure from this point right here. The length of the skirt is going to be 12 inches. So I'm going to place my tape on the waist line while I make my marks round. So 
So once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and connect my points with my curve ruler. So I'm going to go ahead and add my half inch allowance for my um, seam, alright? So I'm also going to connect my points with my curve ruler. I'm also going to come up here and add half inch allowance for the waist seam. So guys, it's time for us to cut out our pattern. I'm going to cut on the seam line, alright? Alright guys, so this is our circle skirt pattern. This is exactly what you're going to have once you're done cutting your circle skirts. Alright guys, if you're going to be using an elastic on your skirts before cutting, you're going to add two inches and if you're using an elastic you won't need to you know slit this open because it can easily slide from your leg to your hip area all the way to your waist all right but because i'm going to be using a zipper for this i'm going to cut this open at one side so i'm going to draw a straight line and i'll cut it open from here So this is where we're going to fix the zipper so guys let's go ahead and test this on a mannequin and see what you have so far guys this is what it looks like it doesn't look well relaxed because this is a paper but trust me when you do this on a fabric proper it's going to relax and look nice and look good guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you've not done that already feel free to leave any questions you have in the comment section below and i'll sure get to it until next time guys my name is shobi keep loving and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye